Well, the entertainment portion is over, and uh, the three ladies have joined us on set, and I want to say thank you all very much. Excellent act. How did you get into this? I mean, it began with me. I was a theater major in college, and so I took it from the, the theatrical aspect as far as... Um, I think that being a female impersonator is, is just my type of thing. It's my way to be on stage. Uh -huh. so. What about you, Regina? I got into it as a dare. Someone dared me to do it for Halloween, so that's the way it turned out. And you've just been doing it ever since, huh? Ever since. Jimmy? Some friends of mine were doing it, and I found out how much money they were making at it, and so I gave it a try. And, and this is your living now, this right? This is all I do, yes. You make a, a good living. Mm, not going to share any of that information <laughs> with us, huh? Well, where do you all... Um, do your impersonations. I know you you appear at Lacage nightclubs. Yes. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, Lacage is a national chain. We run in Toronto. We run in L.A. We have a show in Atlantic City. We have a show in Vegas. Is it all female impersonation? All female impersonation. Yes. Now, we do screen stars and legends. Screen stars and legends. Mm -hmm. What about you all? Where do you find the opportunity to perform? I perform at Strokes and Oklahoma City and a lot of places, Kansas City and Dallas too. So you kind of tour around, mm -hmm. same, same thing? Same, yeah. Same. I, I work at Strokes also. By the way, we should say Marsha changed out of her <laughs> and Margaret outfit and is a little bit more comfortable <laughs> here. Um, I got to find out, how long does it take you to get into your outfits and your makeup? I mean, I know how long it takes me, okay? <laughs> how long does it take you all? A couple hours. A couple of couple hours. hours, yeah. I started at 6.30 this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and you were ready, we should say, at about 11, right? Thanks, Ann. It takes me about an hour and a half to two hours to get ready. I gotta know. Do you shave your legs? No. No? No. No? No. What about facial hair? Oh, yeah, you have to shave that. Well, right. But, I mean, have you done anything to have it, like, permanently removed? No. Or do you just no. do a shave every morning? Just shave. Up and closely. Down three times. <laughs> shave very closely. Yeah. What's the hardest thing to do? To Sh shaving. Shaving. I mean, you guys have got me, nails and the whole bit. I mean, there are women that would kill for your nails. They can have them. They can have them. They, they can have them. Too. They're they amazingly impressed on them. That's right. <laughs> These are not for the active woman. <laughs> no, they're for the dank. <laughs> What's your rea what, what are people's reactions to you? All kinds of reactions. Generally, I, f I find that if you present a positive entertainment, then you get a positive response. You know, uh, some people are flabbergasted, some people's mouths fall open, some people refuse to believe that we are guys, but... We are guys. Now, yeah. why, why does a guy want to dress up like a woman? With me, for the money. For the money, okay. Yes. The entertainment aspect, I like to entertain. Do you ever feel silly? No. No? No. No. Uh -uh. What, what is the difference, because I think a lot of people are confused, so I, I'm, I'm going to ask these confusing questions, okay. all right, between... And a female impersonator, a drag queen, a transsexual, a cross-dresser, transvestite. Will you educate us here? Certainly. Uh, a transvestor or a transvestor or a transvestite is someone who feels that they are a woman trapped in a man's body. There is all kinds of surgery, which many times doctors and psychotherapists feel like that is corrective surgery, and they turn these people into women. Uh, drag queens as far as I'm concerned, are people who put on all of this just for the attention, not really to go on stage, to be on stage, but just to be out and about and to get attention as, you know, a person dressed as a woman. To me, a female impersonator is a person who portrays uh, an act on stage as a woman, but then is all too ready to assume a male role after that's over. I think that's the way I would say it. That's so you, you, you do it for the entertainment, you, but you assume your male role after you get out of your... As oh, soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as... You don't think pantyhose are very comfortable, huh? No. You don't either, do you? Uh, <laughs> not most days, yes. We've got a question. Yes, please. Uh, do you all date? Do you all date? Yes. Yeah. On occasion. <laughs> date. When we can. <laughs> when you can. Well, okay. The we gay, have time. The gay question. You know, uh, you all have had gay titles. Uh, is everybody that's in the impersonation business gay? No. 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 Okay, now, now that brings me to my... Who would, who would do this that wasn't gay? Some uh, of the many. <laughs> many. Many of the people who work with our shows are not gay. Many of them have wives. Many of them have kids. But you have to understand, a lucrative business is a lucrative business. Exactly. 
you see. So it oh, doesn't come only on, tell attract. us how lucrative. <laughs> Somebody out there may be trying to make a career choice here, so, uh, you know? It's a good way to supplement your income, we'll put it that way. And it's a good form of entertainment. Yeah. Okay, yes, you had a point. Yeah. Speaking of income, uh, do you said that this is your only source of income. What about the other two? Is Mine also. I work as a bartender and also a show director. So you, you do do other things yeah. then, but you'd like to make it full-time, Regina? No, right now I'm satisfied with the way it is. Now, do you, do you have guy names, too? I mean, I, I've been talking to you as Marsha and Regina. Jimmy's Jimmy. kind of a I'm guy Jimmy name. All the time, right, yes. right. But you, you do have an, a, a third yes. name that you... My, uh, my actual name. This is my character. To me, it's no different than, than an actor walking on, onto stage and assuming a role. role. That's what okay. I do. I assume a role. Well, we have to assume a break role right now. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 